What is up, my beautiful, beautiful people? Defender here, and welcome to another video. Today, I just want to quickly go over a method to get yourself 125 Fions for free. Okay, so as we know right now, the crystal market is in an absolute shambles. Gold economy is really in a weird place. RMT was at an all-time high, and gold just really meant nothing to most people that were playing in the end game. Um, it was easily available. It was so cheap to buy uh, on third party. Um, and I think people that were getting banned weren't even getting permanently banned. So there wasn't much consequence uh, to outweigh the risk. Now, if you're like myself, you absolutely despise having to buy crystals and getting Fions with it instead um, of getting things you might want in the store, whether it's like new skins um, or uh, pets or mounts or even crystalline aura, right? Having to get Fions is one of the worst things you have to spend uh, crystals on at the moment. It's even hard enough with the ones that we're getting free as they don't quite amount to enough to gear a character out. For example, you know, we're seeing here we've got 30 in the login uh, event, which is great. And then we also have 50 in the art pass in the free, in the free section. Um, now, I don't think it's worth upgrading the art pass past the premium one, um, but the premium one, in my opinion, is worth its cost. That's, that's an aside, that's a separate video. Um, I do have a video that explains how you can make a little bit of gold from the Arc Pass and also uh, the best options to choose. I'll put a link in the description and it's up in the, the top corner at the moment if you want to click through and check that out. Make sure you don't choose the, the wrong rewards because there are some fantastic ones in here to get you ready for the harder content. But anyway, there's 50 in the Arc Pass. 30 in the login, that's 80. And that's not even enough to gear out a character, right? So each accessory is going to cost you um, 25 of your uh, Fions per relic piece. And then your stone is going to cost you 9 per stone that you roll. So already gearing out one character is going to cost you 134 if you have a perfect stone on the first roll. And then obviously if you take maybe 10 stones, that's another 90. Uh, it, it, for me, it took about 10 stones, I believe, maybe closer to 15 to get a decent one. Um, so already we can see it's going up to several hundred Fions just to get your character ready to relic level. Um, and so if we include the AT, we're getting free. And then we add in the extra 125. Um, we can do, we can probably gear up a character in time for the new content. And I want to talk about the um, the free ones, which are in the Amethyst Exchange. And the Amethyst Exchange, if you didn't know, is our version of the mileage, or I believe it's called Prestige Shop in Korea. And what that is is a um, it's similar to air miles, if you will, or like a club card where you gain points uh, as you spend. So the more you spend real money, um, the more these points accrue. And when you have enough points, you can spend them on something in uh, an alternative shop with some skins, um, some pets maybe. Um, I think there's some kind of gamble, like gamba thing as well to get different uh, versions of skins. And there are some rare ones in there. Um, but Suffice to say, we don't have that in this game, so you can't currently spend money in-game and get Amethyst Shards. They have a very limited, finite way of obtaining them, and currently that is through Twitch. Um, so whether there are drops turned on, whether you know watch four hours of some streams that have drops, or if you're a Twitch Prime member, which is uh, Amazon Prime, it's the Bezos Bucks. You know, if you have a, an Amazon Prime account, you link it to Twitch, and it gives you access to, to Twitch Prime, which has like free games and drops for games every month. And Lost Ark has one of those, and they sometimes give Amethyst Shards, but there hasn't been that many ways to get them. Um, and so you can just about have enough to get some of the the cool stuff if you like horizontal kind of casual stuff um i believe there's also a couple of achievements like uh winning a, a pvp game or winning a few pvp games gets you some amethyst shards and having 50 i believe it's 50 friends on your friends list at once not online but just total that will also get you some amethyst shards uh so you don't need to go for twitch now i don't know how much both of those get you together maybe someone in the comments could let me know um so that everyone knows um so you don't necessarily need to go and spend money on Amazon Prime or log into Twitch and watch streamers. Um, but there's 125 Fions in five chests combined. So 25 in each chest and there's five of them. I bought one yesterday just to double check and I can confirm it's 25 in one of these, not just five, even though it's a bit misleading in the image. Um, it looks like you get five total boxes each with five in, but it's actually five boxes with five lots of five Fions. So you do get 125 
And in my opinion, these are absolutely worth it. The value is insane, right? So 125 Fions right now, if you were to go into the store, you would have to uh, go to function. So you get 100 here for 850 crystals. And then the next best option to get the rest of them would be the 30. And that alone is... Uh, if we say somewhere between 22 and 2300 crystals, uh, sorry, uh, gold per per 95 crystals, which is outrageous, is 26,000, 28,000, something along the 26, 28,000, somewhere in between 25 and 30,000 gold just for 130 fions. And that is not enough to gear your character with five accessories and stone. So just bear that in mind if you essentially were to yeah here we go this example that's listed here that would be 1200 and that's 28000 so i mean it, that's not even considering south america south america is over 4000 uh, gold per 95 crystals and that's close to 50000 gold just to buy those fions now in my opinion it is absolutely uh unaffordable for most players especially casual players and so you want to spend those amethyst shards on uh on the fions because it even if you were to be the most efficient way right and buy two of these because they have the most reduction in price that's um what's that going to be 1700 crystals uh so you need to buy 18 lots of 95 crystals um it's it's going to cost you a lot of money um and it's not really affordable right now for most people so don't Go and continue to cause the uh, inflation prices in the in the store in the currency exchange. Instead, opt to go for the amethyst shards and the login bonuses. Okay, and together combined, if you're patient and you go on Twitch, go for the drops. There are currently some drops turned on, um, or maybe check out those achievements you haven't done, the, the the friends list and the PVP. Hopefully, you can get yourself some fions. Okay, and there isn't really much else on the store here that's worth value. These are all given free at some point in in the Twitch Prime drops, and uh, the Twitch drops. Uh, most of this is not worth it. That itself can be replaced with the Island Souls uh, turtle skin, in my opinion. And then these are just kind of cosmetic quality of life things. Okay, I went for the emote pack, but I'm kind of regretting now because of the Fions. Um, so in my opinion, save your Amethyst Shards, get these Fions, save gold down the line, a big amount of gold, um, so that you can save up for honing or Brelshaza content or um, the cost of the accessories as well as the Fions. You know, you're more than doubling the total cost if you consider buying Fions and the gold of the, the accessories. So yeah, this is just something I wanted to share with you guys. I happened to go here because I thought about the crystalline aura that I wanted to get. Um, and then I realized actually, hang on, there are Fions here. I didn't even remember uh, they've been here this whole time. Um, but they have been just hiding away here and people don't remember this. People don't even realize. And people don't even know that there's Twitch Twitch drops and Twitch Prime drops in the first place that they're missing out on, you know? A lot of the stuff is garbage tier. Don't get me wrong. The cosmetics aren't good. The uh, the battle items they give are just, you know, potions. Um, but the Fions here are absolutely worth getting those Twitch drops. So make sure that you uh, that you get these before you forget or before, I don't know, um, you spend money on the, the store to get to get Fions. Go here first and get what you can, okay? And that's all I have to say really on, this, on the matter, to be honest. Just make sure that you take advantage of this, you know? Don't be like me. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. Um, that's it for me today. I just want to get this out to you as quick as possible. Um, I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Thank you so much for the recent support. It's been absolutely incredible. I am overwhelmed with how great these videos have been doing and how positive you all have been and the feedback you've been given. Um, it's just blowing my mind. So yeah, thank you very much. We're going to keep delivering great content to you guys as soon as we can. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.